In this video, I'm going to make this cover letter in Microsoft Word for those with little to no working experience. It's a perfect example in terms of format, structure and content. But if you prefer to save some time and want to download matching resume and cover letter templates, then click on the link in the description for more information. I will also provide you with great cover letter tips that prove to be effective for many of my viewers. Now without further ado, let's make and go through this example. Now the first thing I would like to change are Word's default margin settings. Now go to the Layout tab, Margins, and instead of Normal, I would like to pick the Narrow Settings to avoid cropped sentences and for some extra space. Ok, so now we go to the Insert tab and select the simple text box in the Shapes menu. Cover the header area like this. Ok, and then I would like a subtle black outline. As for the shape fill, you can pick many colors in different styles. But avoid using overly bright colors unless it matches the company style culture or position you are applying for. Now for this tutorial, I keep it simple and select no fill. Alright, let me zoom in a bit more so we have a better overview. I start with your name and surname in the header area. Go to the home tab to center it. And increase the font size to, let's say 24. Bold highlight it to make it stand out a bit more. Underneath, we enter our contact information. Now first you need to enter the city and state, then the email address, now let's remove the hyperlink by pressing Command or Ctrl Z. Then we enter the phone number. And at last, a link to your LinkedIn profile. Research shows that a link to a comprehensive LinkedIn profile can increase your chances by 71% for getting a call back. Now let me align this text box a bit better. OK, and in order to detach the cursor from the text box, you press the spacebar once and the Enter button a couple of times. Alright, in between two white lines we put the date and then the hiring manager's name and position followed by the organization's information. As for the salutation, we write Dear Mr. Bennett. Now, if it concerns a woman, then you need to write Dear Miss Bennett. And if the recipient is a married woman, you can write Mrs. as the abbreviation. In case you don't know the reader's gender, then I would suggest you to write the full name. As in, Dear Name, Surname. Now, if you can't, after thorough research, find any contact information, then I would advise you to write Dear Hiring Manager. Now, if you want to write a traditional American English cover letter, then this is the format and structure you should adopt. For British English, you need to put the contact information and date on the right side. Then you need to put the date first, followed by the month, and exclude the comma. Underneath, we notice that the subject is included in the British English letter. It is commonly used in the UK, but usually left out in the US. For American usage, the month is placed first, followed by the date, and you need to insert a comma between the day and year. Now we also include a dot after the abbreviation MR or MS. And for British English, you can leave it out. Now in the first paragraph, also called the introduction, you need to answer the what, where and why questions. So what position are you applying for? Where did you find the vacancy? Why you? And at which establishment? Now if the vacancy was referred to by a mutual connection, like in this example, you should definitely highlight it in your introduction. Now if it concerns an internship or a temporary job, you also need to inform the reader when you want to start and the duration. For example, include a sentence that looks like this. Now by including this information, you track the reader's attention, proving your attention to detail and ability to communicate effectively. Now in the second paragraph, you briefly introduce yourself, followed by your motivation for the job opportunity. Now in this case, it concerns an office assistant job role at a school. Now show that the position you are applying for is important to you. And try to answer questions like, what triggers you to work as a, followed by the job title you are interested in, and or, why do you specifically want to join their organization? Now let the reader know that you did your research and are in fact specifically interested in what they offer. Now it's a great way to evoke emotion and show genuine interest. In the third paragraph, you need to match your qualifications to the job requirements. Now you most likely don't have any professional working experience. So you will have to focus on your character traits and interpersonal skills. Now don't list all of the information like you do in your CV but instead provide context. Speaking of making a resume, don't forget to check out my video on how to make a resume with no experience. You can find the link in the description down below. So let me continue where we left. Reiterate what you have to offer, demonstrate that you have what's required for the position, 
and most importantly, share an accomplishment that proves you can deal with the daily duties mentioned in the vacancy description. And the last paragraph, you can refer the reader to your resume and or other documents. I initiate an interview by mentioning your interest to further discuss your potential contribution to their organization. Also, include your phone number and email address so they can easily reach out to you. And at last, don't forget to thank the reader for taking their time to review your cover letter and close in a compelling way. So kind or best regards, followed by your name and surname. Now you can also write sincerely. Your sincerely is British and Americans tend to reverse the order and write sincerely yours. Nowadays, sincerely is a common and an acceptable close for American cover letters. But you can also write yours faithfully, which can be used when the recipient is not addressed by name, as in, dear hiring manager. It is a British usage, and yours truly is the American equivalent. Now keep your cover letter short, concise and to the point. I would suggest you to pick in between the 250 and 400 words, to keep the letter brief and informative at the same time. I also want to emphasize the importance of properly sending your cover letter and save the file accordingly. So name, surname, cover letter. And that way the reader will know that it is yours without even opening the file. Now unless instructed otherwise, save your cover letter as a PDF or Word document attached to the email. Now all these little things prove your attention to detail and can make the difference between getting that job or not. Okay, so before I end this video, I would like to know if you watched the whole video. And I'm even more curious if you actually got a call back. Leave an emoji with glasses if you watched the video till the end. And leave an emoji with sunglasses if you got an invitation to an interview. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Now, if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!